We've had enough of the establishment parties. They serve the interests of the 1%, not the 99%. The whole political system is bankrupt. The bankers get billions, the rest of us get austerity. And you never hear UKIP's Nigel Farage criticise city bankers. That's because he used to be one. MPs on nearly three times the average wage still think they're hard done by. When I was an MP, I took a worker's wage and I'd do the same again. We've had five years of austerity from Tories and Liberals, but where's the opposition? In January, only five Labour MPs voted against Tory plans for an extra £30 billion worth of cuts by 2018. UKIP want £35 billion worth of cuts. A third of a billion of cuts have been passed on by a Labour-controlled city council. There's a huge mood for change in Scotland after the referendum. Yet Labour and the SNP are carrying out Tory cuts. And that's why people are saying, enough is enough. We need our own political voice, rooted in our own communities and based on working class organisations. And we're building one. It's called the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, TUSK. Bob Crow, until his untimely death, was the elected leader of the RMT Transport Union, co-founded TUSK because there is no independent political voice for working people. Bob explained that Tories, Liberal Democrats and Labour all support cuts, privatisation and anti-union laws. They all want us to pay for a crisis we didn't create. The RMT Union has since voted to be part of TUSK. TUSK is standing at 130 parliamentary candidates and hundreds of local authority candidates nationally. Three quarters of our candidates are active trade unionists. The rest are anti-racist, anti-fracking, anti-cuts campaigners. They spend their days, like Bob did, defending people in the workplace and in the community. That's what we do in Parliament. So why vote Tusk? The ballot box is one way we can reject the idea that we're all in this together. Their case for austerity is a lie. This is still an extremely rich country, for some, the richest five families in Britain own more than the poorest 12 million combined. But what does that lead to? There's been no recovery in workers' pay. As a first step, we fight for a minimum wage of at least £10 an hour. Housing is in crisis. Tusk would cap rents, not benefits, and build decent council homes for all who need them. The NHS belongs to everyone. Don't let them take it away from us. It's been brought to its knees by Tory cuts, PFI and privatisation. Labour started that process. Only Tusk promises to boot the fat cats out of the NHS and stop all cuts. And academies and free schools are opening the door to privatisation of our schools. We say no. Privatisation is a scandal. As profits soar, wages and quality of service plummet. Tusk represents the majority of people who want the renationalisation of the railways. Don't forget anti-trade union laws, introduced by Thatcher and maintained by Labour. Tusk fights for trade union freedom. The mainstream parties scapegoat people on benefits, disabled people, migrants and Muslims. Let's unite against the real enemy, the bosses and the bankers. We rescue people, but the establishment parties rescue banks. Tusk stands for democratic socialism, rationally planning our wealthy society in the interest of the millions, not the millionaires. That means putting the major companies and banks which dominate our economy into democratic public ownership. Production and services could then be planned to meet the needs of all while protecting the environment. So, are you? Angry about cuts in public services. Enraged over zero hour contracts and low pay. Fed up with NHS privatisation. Fuming that university fees leave you with a lifetime of debt. Opposed to racism and all forms of discrimination. Only the bosses gain when we're divided. Disgusted with politicians lining their own pockets, always helping the super rich 1%. Then Tusk was formed for you. Where you can, please vote for Tusk on May 7th. But you know, whatever mix of establishment parties form the next government, for us, austerity continues. So join us in the building of a new voice for the 99%. Thank you. <laughs>